here with Ryan and Rob right before the Amazing Race Canada finale. Tell me, how are you feeling uh, heading into Sunday's episode? Super nervous. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. Excited. Do you feel like you guys have sort of uh, picked up a little bit of momentum? Like, I know you've been on the block, you were saved by so many non-elimination legs. Do you feel like you're getting stronger as the race is going on? Uh, yes and no. Like, we were pretty strong near the beginning. We had a couple second places and then we kind of nosedived and we were just kind of skating by every time. But um, definitely, yeah, we, I guess we got stronger because we just knew not to give up. In the, in the sense that, like, you know, you're, you've had your back against the wall, whereas I feel like the other teams are a little bit more comfortable. You know, you guys know what it's like to, like, survive, still make it through. So is that an advantage heading into the final episode? Well, yeah, we've, we've been at the top, we've been at the bottom, and, you know, we've survived two non-elimination legs. So, you know, we're definitely uh, here to stay in the race, right? We've proven ourselves. You know, typically on the Amazing Race, uh, at least on the U.S. version, all male teams used to dominate, and I feel like this season has been completely different. You know, like the Olympians just are almost impossible to beat. Was that weighing on you at the time of filming? Were you like, man, if we can just beat them, we're probably going to win? Yeah, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It's their, uh, the, the real people. The, yeah, <laughs> they would beat us by so many hours. <laughs> it was really hard sometimes to get you know that confidence, but I think. We beat them in Yukon, that was the only time. <laughs> so we can do it. What is it about them? Why do they just like almost always, you know, even if I tune in at like 8.45, oh look, they're in first place again. You know, like what gave them that much of an advantage? Well, me and Ryan were convinced that they were uh, programmed in China when we went there and they're robots. <laughs> and, um, you know, I think they just got updated. So after that, they just kept winning and winning. <laughs> and yeah, it's just uh, it was a little bit of a disadvantage for us. <laughs> Suki and Jinder are obviously a hot button topic. What is your relationship like with them now uh, after everything is said and done? Uh, we need security with them because <laughs> I'm just gonna. Uh, no, we're fine. We're the two BC teams, so we've been uh, hanging out and stuff, and it's all good. And uh, yeah, they're, they're fine. Do, do, do borders mean anything? Because obviously, like Pierre and Michelle, they like U turn. Audrey in LA, right? Same with there's no like Vancouver connection with you and Suki and Ginger. So I guess borders don't matter in the Amazing Race Canada. Not at all. It's, uh, you know, we're still friends with like, well, I talk with uh, Michelle Pierre mm -hmm. still, and, uh, you know, they're great guys. They may be turned to uh, some people, and, but yeah, no, you know, it's part of the game. And, and finally, what do you guys need to do to win? Is there any like one thing that you were focused on in the finale? Not getting lost. Not getting lost. <laughs> Read your clue. And, and if you had to pick, like let's say you guys can win and you had to choose between the Olympians and Mickey and Pete, uh, who would you pick, you know, if it can't be you? Uh, I'd pick uh, uh, Pete and Megan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, buddy. Same for you. I gotta go with Mickey and Pete just because, you know, neither of us have won anything. So, uh, yeah, one of us has got to go home with something. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, hey, you're like leaving me hanging. So it's like <laughs> <laughs>